guys, Auntie Dana here. Welcome to teaching you my cooking skills. It's a long time since I haven't really do a cooking video, but today I feel to wake up this morning and make some breakfast. Yes, I haven't done that in a while. So here I'm making some curry coconut fritters and right here I have curry powder, um, coconut powder, salt, fish, um, sachets, um, flour. Come around and show them what I have, please. Um, onion, scallion and thyme, oil, black pepper, and this is all I'm going to be using into my fritters. So first thing first, we're going to wash our scallion and thyme and stuff like this. You're going to wash these. Mm -hmm. You're going to make sure that you wash them too, right? I'm going to put it on the board just to show now. So Auntie Dana is going to wash all of these. Yes, wash them off. Clean. Fresh thyme. And fill it and separate them. Wash. Remember guys, you must always wash your things then before you cook them. Every, every vegetable must wash. I use somebody to them one day. And then I'm going buy the cut of color. I'm going to straighten out the pot and cook it. No. You must wash your vegetables. Yes. Wash them thoroughly. Especially all the skelly and the notice that you might be something right in here. So, so um, all of the things that we go in here. Alrighty. So let me just turn off the piece of hand towel and come right back. Anyway, Auntie Dana loves to clean as she go along when she's cooking. So that's in the garbage. Let me dry up. Pay me no mind blank of people. It's just a habit. I like to work and clean up as we go along. So I'm gonna wash these um in the skin where anyway. them have on the shell. So I'm gonna cut up these and because it's a video, um it is not live where I can just go and go and go and go on. I don't want the video to um to have part one and part two. So I'm going to clean these up, peel these off, and cut them up, and come right back for you guys to see the next step of the process, all right? I'm going to dice um, the onions. Um, I hate cutting onions. It get my iron. And you can dice these in any size you want them. So I'm going to do them very small. I just run the knife through it. Couldn't use that knife because it's not sharp enough like this. Yes, yeah, so you don't... Anyhow you want to cut them, whether you want to cut them big, whether you want to cut them small, it's it's fine um, on the size that you want to dice your onions in. So this is what Auntie Donna is doing. And I'm going to dice them over um, when, uh, so when I come back, you guys will see all the diced onion and stuff. So remember now guys, you dice up your, I don't want this part to make, let me throw this in the garbage. So remember now guys, you dice up your scallion um, and your onions. So pepper now, I like to cook with pepper. I like to have pepper in my food, especially fritters. So I'm not going to use a lot because these pepper are very hot. They're hot like a fire. So remember I cook, I'm making... But Josh, but he's a bit used to pepper. Pepper don't really bother him. I find him smaller been cooking with pepper. So I'm dicing these up small. Um should I use a bigger knife? The cutting knife. And thanks to the lady that gave me this cooking board that Mark teaching you my cooking skill. I so love it. And this is the time. Um I only need 
a, f a fraction of it, like the leafy part. Yes, I just need some small part with a little stick in it. Some people pick off the leaves. You can if you want, but this, the um, I use the small parts and I just take out. When I do it like this, I just take out the the, the big sticks from it. You know, you can cut up these. Just take out the tall parts the, 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 and use mainly the leaves. So for this year, you're supposed to take out the sticks. But I use the edge of it. It don't have a lot of sticks in it. Cause we don't want that in it. Because whenever you're eating it, you're going to have to stop to take them out. So, but because I'm doing a video, I have to show you shorthand. So I'm going to pick through this. See it right here? And that is the reason why I cut it off from the edge. So if you notice, all the stick sticks is down at the bottom. So I'm taking out these little sticks from it and dice them up. Yep. Yes, I'm, I'm going to pick them out. We're trying, but we are trying to pick out almost all of them. If not, we can have some little pieces leave back in there. But it all goes down to what you prefer, your taste buds and what you like. But if you are doing this to sell, you would not want to put the sticks in there. Because you wouldn't want people be buying a fritter and they be biting on sticks, all right? So you would pick out all the leaves off it. You would just hold it and do it like this. I would have done that but because I'm doing a video. It takes time. Over here now is my flour. So I'm going to add all the dry ingredients into the bowl. This is the curry powder, yes. Um, I, always, I like to try things different from everybody. I, I like to do things anti done away. So I always sit down and say, all right, body mix it as I want to bring a little different zest to it. So I'm putting in the curry powder and the coconut powder. And this is the brand that I have here today. Great. And you can use any brand that you have. Remember all coconut powder similar are similar in flavor. And I'm just gonna add it in there, yeah. This is gonna give your, your fritter a nice flavor. I'm adding all it. I'm only using black pepper. I won't be using any salt at all for this because remember that the um the salt fish has in salt. So I'm gonna set this right here. Um, let me get a spoon. I'm gonna have to take out a spoon. Yes. So, with that done, you're gonna add mix all dry ingredients together. So you're gonna mix in the coconut milk, the curry, and the black pepper. And remember, for this salt, it's optional. So if you don't want to use any salt, you don't have to. Remember, we have the salt fish. Right here is the salt fish. Um, oh, I need to take out this out the sink. Let me just rest this here and clean up the sink. Alrighty. Yes, they must always work and clean up your station. Whether you're cooking in a restaurant, at the house, always work and clean up the area that you are working in. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we'll come right here with you go. You know, accident do up this is live with you. So you always work and clean up the area that you are working. Alright, so come right back here. So this is some salt fish right here. And I put this in the water to soak. To soak out the salt. I did not boil it. So I'm gonna separate it from the skin. Yes, like this. And when I come back, you will see how I separate it. I'm going to show you what Auntie does now. Yes, so guys, the salt fish have done wash it and get them to small pieces. As you guys can see, I'm going to rest it down right here. And we're going to cut up our sachets, remember? Yes, and leave it in the fridge. So these are cold. So we're not going to, uh, <coughs> sorry boil them we're just gonna cut them up all right so so when we're cutting up these we're gonna just 
you run the knife, you can just run the knife so it to get them a bit small. But they are supposed to be shown in the flitter. So there it is, we're gonna cut them up. This is all the dry ingredients that Auntie Donna. I was just gonna add a little water to it to kind of mold the thing together to make sure everything. You don't wanna add the, the other ingredients in it and the flour and the coconut and stuff is not molded in. So you're gonna do like this and add, mix them in, right, flankers? All right, so I'm gonna now put in the, these in it, the onions, the thyme, a piece of stick here. Yes, we wanna try and get rid of all of that. So we're gonna add this in. Yes, and we're gonna combine them together in there. And remember, sachets is not a must. You don't must put the sachets in your fritter. So let's pause and let's add it on a come back. Mixing in all that I just put in. As you can see, this is a bit thick. So you know, I'm going to add a little water. Right? Yes, combine again. Because you don't want it to be too thin. See another piece of thyme stick right here. So we'll just remove that. And... Um, but remember guys, I'm not making this to sell or anybody, so I would have taken off the thyme leaves. Look how creamy and rich and pretty this is. Yes. And I'm going to give it a little bit more water. Um, just a small amount. And you put the amount of water to the amount of people that you're catering for. And remember guys, this flitter has no salt in it. What I'm using for the salt is the substitute is the salt fish. Um, that I pick up, yes, and gonna add in the sachets. Joshua likes sachets, mm -hmm. so that is the reason why I put it in there. You don't have to put any form of um, these salt fish or fritter in there, but this is my method. And as you can see, it's ready to fry. Wow, Auntie Dana making a spray right here, anyway. That's easy to get rid of with us. Clean along as we go. We're just gonna mix this in, and you can see the creamy paste that this has. Look at it, guys. And we're gonna fry our fritters. So we're gonna go over to the stove now. I put on the, the pot on the fire and just gonna add a little oil. This is some natural coconut oil. Just gonna mix it with um. This is natural coconut oil. That was me. Um, and I'm gonna add, it smells so good. I'm gonna add some of the, the, the vegetable oil to it. And you can use olive oil for it if you want. So you're not gonna put too much oil. You're gonna allow that to hot. And then we come right back. So guys, as you can see, the oil is hot. And my fritter is here. And I'm just gonna, and you could use a smaller spoon. Depends, I don't like them when they're big and odious. So I'm just gonna put them in the hot oil like this. Small and nice. I like them when they are very small. So this is Auntie Donna coconut curry fritter. And guys, there is no limit in your kitchen as to what you can do when you are cooking, all right? So you'll see them bring it down on the fact that them see how them look beautiful. And the reason why it is foaming like this is because it's real coconut oil. All right, Blanca people? So you'll see these when they are finished frying. Guys, these have been frying and I'm just gonna turn them over so you guys can see what they look like. And remember, if you're worried about the curry, remember that the curry um, burn when you put it in the pot. And it's, oh, these smell so good. The, the aroma of this is so nice. So turning them over, yes. Auntie Donna, coconut fritter with curry, curry coconut fritter. And you can add anything that you want. Look how beautiful these are. So I'm gonna let this fry on this side and then you'll see when I take them out. Oh, I forgot. My fritters are ready to take out the pot and I'm just gonna place them on the hand towel for them to drain out the excess oil. Mama, look at them, them smells. Guys, you wanna smell them here. You wanna smell the real coconut oil in these. Look at them. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna come and zoom over on the fritters. Look how beautiful Auntie Donna fritters are. Dada!
ready for your mouth. Alrighty? <laughs> and there you have it. Auntie Donna teaches you how to make her coconut curry fritters.